Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is use keyboard shortcuts. Now, I'm a huge fan of using both touch and pen, and I really recommend that people get devices like the Surface Pro so that they can really fully take advantage of those features. However, a big part of what we do is still oriented around the keyboard. And if you're using the keyboard a lot, then you really should know some basic keyboard shortcuts in both Windows and in some of the productivity applications that we use. So this tip is dedicated to keyboard shortcuts. Now I'm gonna start off with a quick section about keyboard shortcuts that are related to editing and selecting text. Now, hopefully you've already mastered the basics like Control X, Control C, and Control V to cut, copy, and paste. But are you using some of the more advanced text selection features or cursor moving features like Control and the left or the right arrow to jump your cursor across an individual word? Or holding the Control and the Shift key along with the left or the right arrow to select a whole word at a time? It's worth just taking a few minutes to really drill those keyboard shortcuts into your head so that you can quickly use your keyboard for text editing tasks. This is far easier than using a mouse and it's way faster too. While we're on the control key, in most applications, control and the F key will bring up a find or a search dialog. And in most applications, again, control and P will bring up the print window. Now beyond text editing, we also have some shortcuts that are built into Windows that are really handy for opening up certain apps. For example, the Windows key and the E key opens up the File Explorer. Windows and A opens the Action Center. Windows and I opens up the Settings app. Windows and the H key opens up the Dictation input panel. Windows and Full Stop opens up the Emoji panel so that you can type and click on emojis. Windows and L also locks your screen. So if you're going to be away from your device for a little while, it's worth just pressing Windows and L to make sure that nobody accesses your computer. There's also Windows and the Tab key to bring up the timeline or task view. And finally, the Windows key and the left or right arrow to split your screen in half using the Windows Snap feature. If you're already used to doing that, use the up and the down keys as well to snap your windows into quadrants. Also, if you've watched our previous video on multiple desktops and you've mastered that feature, you might want to use the keyboard shortcuts, control windows left or right to toggle through the multiple desktops that you have open, or control windows and the D key to create a new desktop. Now, it's really worth just taking the time to learn these sorts of keyboard shortcuts because when you're sitting at a desk, your hands are already on the keys. You don't have to move your hands to operate the mouse it's much quicker and easier to do things like selecting text with the keyboard, but you do need to learn it first. So make sure you just take a few moments and practice these keyboard shortcuts so that you wear those paths into your brain and you'll never forget uh, those keyboard commands once you've learned them. They'll become second nature. You'll feel like you're much more in control of your computer and people will notice as well when they see you editing some text, they'll see how fast you are and they'll be really impressed. Now this is just a small selection of the literally hundreds of keyboard shortcuts that exist across Windows and all of the applications that you use. Tell us about the keyboard shortcuts that you use and like to teach others in the comments below. And just before we go, a couple of quick shortcuts for Microsoft OneNote. Control and the full stop key adds a bullet point to your page. Control and the forward slash, which is just next to the full stop, adds a numbered list instead. Oh, and my favorite, if you type something and then just press the tab key, that's a shortcut to turn what you've typed into a table in OneNote. So if you found this helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.